I try to put some thought into these videos and then I get out and get on my bike and I start riding around I forget everything that I put thought into if this woman's texting I'm gonna die she's not she just plainly can't drive see that guy right there he's been going around trying to bum a cigarette the whole time I was here he finally got a cigarette. He asked me for a cigarette. I said, I don't smoke. He got angry. Well, there you go. Nice sneeze. Edit that out. Glad my shield was open. That's really cool. See, that's what I mean. That reinforces my role model thing right there. That little boy is probably two years old, and he's just freaking out. He saw Ava, and his eyes just boing. I still haven't had my Red Bull, but I can't shut up. My editor is going to kill me because there's no continuity to today's performance whatsoever. I'm at the post office. I get to mail off some stickers. I'd like to let my followers and supporters know that I have undergarments for sale. If any of you guys like my content so much, you know, and have to have a pair of my chonies, just let me know. I wear boxer briefs, and I'd be happy to share. You can get them freshly laundered, and you can get them freshly worn. <laughs> I think of a funny story every time I come down here to Litchfield. That was years ago, and my wife had just bought a brand new, some kind of Pontiac car. Uh, kind of a hot roddy GT something or other, I don't know, Grand Prix, some Grand Am. I ask her, hey, can I, can I drive your car to work? I'll just leave the truck, I don't need the truck today. Can I please drive your car to work? And, you know, she quickly and willingly says, sure, I don't have any plans. I go to work, and we're building a neighborhood, and I'm busy working at about 7 o'clock in the morning. We've been at it for a couple hours. My buddy Marco goes, hey, Timmy, that lady just ran into your wife's new car crawl up on this big giant pile of wood that we had and I can finally see her car and some lady had backed right into the driver's door backs into the door so hard you couldn't open it or close it so I go out there and the lady was really apologetic but here I am I have to call my wife and say hey uh your car's all smashed up and I've been only gone for a couple hours I was so distracted that um since I didn't have my truck I borrowed a nail gun from the back of the company truck. So I put the gun down on the ground and I go to plug the air compressor hose into it. As soon as I put the air in, the bullet went off and stuck right in the arch of my left foot. Three inch nail went three inches deep into the arch of my left foot. I'm standing there going, oh my God, look. And my buddies are like, dude, you should just go home and go back to bed. I mean, here I am with a wrecked wife's car and a three inch nail in the arch of my left foot. So like, you know, carpenters and tough guys do, my friend took a cat's paw, a nail puller, and he yanked the nail out of my foot. The doctor, he goes, dude, you are so flippin' lucky not to have, you know, injury here, of, you know, fractured bones and stuff. And I was like, I'm lucky? You know, tell me when the luck started. Woo, suicide bird, I almost got him too. Jimmy Jim!